Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to look at creating new topology for characters. In one of my past videos, I created new topology for dragon wings. I didn't have any existing topology for them, so today we're going to look at how I created them. Let's begin. Okay, so we're going to jump into ZBrush. We're going to take this cylinder 3D and turn it into a poly mesh 3D object. Now we're going to jump over to the Z sphere. We're going to draw one out go into edit mode, and then we're going to go into the rigging palette, select mesh, and then we're going to choose the cylinder that we created into a poly mesh. So now it has both of them on the canvas. We're going to go down to topology, and we're going to go edit topology. In this case, we're going to make some new topology, such as the wings or another object for your character. So just left clicking, uh, this is going to follow the same surface of the cylinder. And later on we can go over how to use the 3D plane to just create some flat geometry. So a basic wing shape. And if we hit A on the keyboard, this is going to preview the mesh. But at this moment, we don't have anything to preview because we haven't added extra nodes along the surface. You can also, instead of clicking A, we can go to Adaptive Skin and preview the mesh. So we're just going to move along, just clicking some dots. And I always click twice off to the side because sometimes I find ZBrush adds nodes where I don't want them. So here we have some basic topology for the, the new wing mesh that we're going to make. And we're going to add some nodes up the middle of this. So if we think this is good enough, we're going to go down to the adaptive skin palette. Uh, we're going to turn off preview and then we're going to click Make Adaptive Skin. This is going to create a separate skin uh, for our new object. If we want to change the thickness of the object, we can also extract a new mesh from the existing mesh. We can change the smoothness values, the thickness values, whatever you want. And then we can click Accept, and this is going to create a new extract. We can hide the old one for now. So it, it looks kind of mangled at the moment, so we're going to fix that. We're just going to use the move tool over here and just move these guys around. I think the easiest way to add thickness in this case, we can go over to one of the tools and go down to Z modeler and we can Q mesh a poly but it's going to tell us that we have to delete our subdivision levels because it automatically creates new subdivision levels when you create new topology. You can also change this in the adaptive skin palette beforehand. So here we have one part of the mesh that extrudes, but we want it to extrude the whole thing. So we're going to hold down spacebar on the face of the mesh and you get a whole bunch of different options. So we're going to go extrude uh, polygroup all and that's going to extrude out the whole polygroup of this face. So there we go. And then you can just keep working with this, uh, shape it into whatever you want. Uh, maybe some basic wing designs and take your creation to the next level. So instead of having a curved surface, we're going to take a plane this time, and we're going to turn it into a poly mesh. 
and then we're going to follow the same process. So we're going to go back to the Z-sphere. We're going to go down to Rigging, Select Mesh, and choose our plane. If your plane doesn't appear on the screen, just rotate your screen a bit. It's because a plane only has one side. So now we're going to create a new flat object. We're going to go down to Edit Topology. And then we're just going to draw out a basic shape again. Say if you want to select the poly mesh, I tend to just throw a point down. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just hold down control and left click once. So say if we want to get rid of this point here, we're going to hold alt and left click again. And that's going to get rid of it for us. So then we can just draw out a new one. And there's some basic topology for the shape that we're working on. So I think this is good for another example. So we're going to go back to adaptive skin. We're going to turn off the density of two and put it down to one. And this gives us more of a flat shape around the edges. We're going to go make adaptive skin. It's going to create a new skin here for a mesh. And then we can follow the same process as before uh, sculpting it out to your liking. Uh, we can move some of the edges down if we really want to. Give it some more body. It doesn't have to be flat in the end. So it's totally up to you what you want to do with it. And then we can go back to our Z modeler brush and drag out. And there we go. If you have any questions, feel free to throw it down in the comments. And remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye for now.